beautiful people. I am so glad that you are back again to join us. We are now on episode six of the Joseph Noiting. Can you believe that, Bray? Thank you, everyone, for joining us again for yet another episode. We've done, yeah, we've done a lot, haven't we? So this is uh, pretty much uh, the end of this uh, series. Yeah, and it's been really good, actually. I've enjoyed it. I know I've taken a lot of notes um, during during the time, and I'm I'm trusting that so of you guys because you wouldn't be here on, <laughs> on the sixth episode if you have not. Yeah. Um, and do catch up for those of you who are probably hearing for us for the first time. My name is Amy. And I'm Bright. Absolutely. I think it's best to, um, the way we have done them, they go in order. So from one, three to six would be a bit unfair. Not unfair really, but it would be quite unproductive, I think, if you just to listen to one of them without listening to them in order. So yeah. Definitely. I very much agree with that. And guys, today we are talking about... Drum roll. <laughs> Today we'll be talking about the blockchain technology, specifically NFTs, cryptocurrencies, um, in line with the Joseph anointing, really, and just finding out how relevant that is to today. Yeah, and the importance of money and how relevant it is in today's uh, age. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Bright. So, would you like to explain the dream? Because I'm guessing the the basis of, of this choice of topic came from a revelation that you had, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, so this was based on the uh, the dream, uh, one of the dreams that we shared in our first um, episode. So, um, in this dream, it was when I saw a graph of uh, a cryptocurrency called Ripple, XRP, that was going up from what it is uh, now rising to about uh, 13 14 15 dollars and just accumulating at that stage and at that point i was able to see um you know god opened up my eyes and i was able to see how much my investment was worth uh, in xrp at the time and yes yeah, so when i got the flash of how much my investment was worth i woke up and i immediately knew that something will be happening with uh, repo xrp and this potential price in the future, so we are uh, we invested more in it. But the more that I, you know, grew in understanding and dug deeper with regards to that dream, I realized that it's more than just XRP, but it's also including wealth transfer and uh, the new money that's coming in uh, cryptocurrency. Cool. So that's interesting because I know we ended our last um, episode on well, around the concept of when money failed, when money failed in Egypt, right? Yes. So I'm guessing that is, a, well, what we're doing today is really a continuation from that line of thought in terms of maybe the current fiat system. Fiat system is basically the paper money we use today. Yep. In, in, in terms of that failing and then maybe the future being crypto, is that the line that we're going in today. Yeah, that's what we're going for. Let's start off by reading. I think we read this verse last time anyway, but let's read it. Uh, Genesis 47, verse, verse 15. Okay. So I've got it in the KJV. Yeah. And it says, Genesis 47, 15. And when money failed in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came unto Joseph and said, Give us bread, for why should we die in thy presence? For the money faileth. Interesting, isn't it? So, mm. a time came in the days of Joseph that money actually failed. The currency system that they were using at the time, it actually failed. And if you have been working with this all along, you realize that. So, there's a mirror image between what was happening in the days of Joseph and what is happening in our times now. And we're seeing a situation where the governments over the last two, three years have been borrowing as much as possible to a point where right now we're in the in the midst of a, of a financial crisis and the current financial system that we have is failing and at the same time we're seeing an introduction of cryptocurrency and every government is pretty much working on introducing their own cryptocurrency as coins and yeah and so forth so this is where we are now and this is what we really want to uh, to touch on and see how you guys can prepare and get involved in this before it's too late. 
That's that's interesting. I think the first thing that comes to mind is obviously to give an explanation of what blockchain is and what um, NFTs are and what crypto is. But I guess that's not what this necessarily is for. I know um, we're working on a course that's to come out that will go into depth with all of that. Yeah. Um, but today is more to understand its relevance. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. You don't have to fully understand it now, but just understand that it's it's important and is something that you need to give time to. Yeah, if you're not really involved in it now already, which I know a lot of people are, but a lot of people at the same time are are skeptical, probably they think it's a scam or it's not necessary. But that's what we really want to shed light upon. If if the vision that I have shared with you isn't already an emphasis on how important it is, hopefully by the end of this brief conversation today, you'll be able to, um, yeah, just to prepare yourself and put yourself in a position whereby you can start transitioning to that. But that's no, we're not really covering the lesson on what blockchain is today. But we'll do that when the course uh, comes out in 2023. Definitely. I think another thing that might be important, as you just mm. said that, is to maybe spend just like five minutes or maybe two minutes just to explain the importance of money. Because I know <laughs> mm. a lot of Christians think that money isn't important. They may not necessarily say it. Yeah. Um, I mean, some do. But it's just like, oh, you know, God will provide. Like, yeah, we'll never eat. I've never seen the hungry begging for food or their yeah. children begging for bread. You know, the, the righteous forsaken or their children begging for bread. So they'll, they'll flip all these things. Meanwhile, they're struggling. Yeah. So I guess for anybody to really receive the content of what we're about to go into, what you're about to share with us. Yeah. It may be important to actually go scriptural and actually explain the importance of money yeah. and having it. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I think when we when we talk of money, it, it really comes down to, uh, to management. It's astonishing, actually, how a lot of people actually think money doesn't matter. Money matters, you know. Uh, the management of money is necessary and it is critical. You can't really go from one level of glory financially to another level of glory financially without learning to manage what you have. So money is important and money does matter. And uh, I don't know, did you have a scripture to read or what you wanted to touch on regarding um, that? Yeah, I guess in terms of money, the, the scriptures that come to mind, I know we were talking about this before and you mentioned Proverbs 11.10. Yeah. I'll just read it quickly. It says, yeah. when it goeth well with the righteous, the city rejoiceth. Mm. And when the wicked perish, there is shouting. Mm. And we're looking at that word well. Mm. Now, well in Hebrew means tube. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says when it goes well, when it tube with the righteous. And well actually means when they have property. Tube in Hebrew is property, goods. Right. Right. <laughs> property and goods. Right. So yeah. I guess it's interesting, right? The Bible specifically mm. mentions these things. That's right. Isn't that interesting? I mean, tube, that's T double O B, isn't it? That's how to pronounce it, yeah. Oh, you pronounce it as tube, but tube. how do you spell it? I think T U B is, oh. yeah. Great. The point is this uh, other um, translations say when the righteous prosper. Right. So we have the word prosperity there, the word, same word that we, we saw um, when we're reading about Joseph. Yeah, in Genesis. You know, when Joseph, when, it, when the scripture said in Genesis that um, Joseph prospered because the Lord was with him. Imagine Joseph was a slave when that was said about him. He was um, working in the house of, uh, of Pharaoh at the time. So he, he wasn't wealthy uh, in terms of uh, finances, but what prosperity referred to at the time was the ability to multiply the ability to, to manage what he had and to multiply and prosper and be successful. Even though he was a slave, he was working for nothing, he was still considered prosperous. So when we come to um, the book of Proverbs and we see here that when it goes well, when the righteous prosper, when the righteous buy properties, which means it is necessary for you as a righteous person, to, uh, to prosper, to mm -hmm. do well, to buy property. Um, the city rejoices, for the city will benefit from righteous people prospering mm -hmm. and winning financially. 
So money does matter in this case. Definitely. And I guess yeah. I, I feel that maybe some people, I don't know what I feel like, but it's not in a feeling so much. It's, right. I think what you realize in most conversations is there's a fear of money. I think that's really what it is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, people fear that money can corrupt them and yeah. change their view where they may not love God as much. Right. Um, and hence may label it as evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but is money evil though? Well, <laughs> I'm about to say something funny. This statement always makes me laugh, but it's true. Right? It's, it, it goes like this. If money was that evil, mm-hmm. why, <laughs> why doesn't the devil load you with it? Like this yeah. really evil, dangerous <laughs> thing. You know, the devil gives people sickness. He gives people what? Like, I don't know, troubles, anxiety. Why on earth is he not loading you yeah. with this very evil thing called money? Because he knows that <laughs> you as a righteous person, if he was to give you the money, right, you would do much good with it. So, hence, um, he gives it to evil people that would rather do what he wants, right? So money, money doesn't have any feelings. Money isn't evil. But in this case, in this context of what we're teaching, would much rather the money is with the righteous people. So how do you, as a righteous person, have this inheritance, 100%. build this wealth, so you can do much good that's for it. the kingdom of God? That's it. No, yeah. I think that's that's very important. And I guess this is why yeah. we are doing these podcasts, because yeah. there is a wealth transfer, but God that's also it. won't pour it into somebody who isn't prepared, who isn't fully strengthened to be yeah. able to steward what's coming. So it's yeah. important that... Your vessel is prepared. I think a lot of people don't trust themselves anyway, when it comes to money. They just don't trust themselves because they haven't been trained, you know, um, to, to build up a capacity to handle more than just uh, a basic salary. So they, they have no idea. So they have this thing about money that they think is for wicked people that are out there somewhere. But or greedy people. We yeah, get that enough, yeah, isn't it? A yeah. lot. If somebody doesn't, if somebody can has money that can provide for maybe more than them and their family, right. they're greedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is something, isn't it? So hopefully this is all helping and what we have covered so far to kind of show you guys that it is necessary for you to build capacity to, uh, to accumulate wealth for the benefit of the kingdom. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah so I guess we can say the future of finance is crypto is that yeah yeah so that's that's what we're seeing in that in that dream for me it was more than just xrp but the future of finance is cryptocurrency yeah okay so do you want to speak a bit more about that break i mean what are your thoughts what's the main message that you wanted to get across um besides that really is to, to prepare i think um mostly we'll be doing a lot of trainings i think in 2023 uh, in 2021, started a school of entrepreneurship, the Bright School of Entrepreneurship, just to um, to teach those around me and those that you know that have come into contact with me, you know, regards to regarding finance and business and how to do it God's way, how to do it the right way, how to do it in the most scripturally scripturally right way. That's what we have been doing, but most of it will come into that really in terms of how to do it right. But if there's any specific message right now, you have to say, guys, where we are going financially as an economy of the world is towards the cryptocurrency. And let's not uh, ignore it. So what would you say um, in response to... There's a lot of fear-mongering when it comes to yeah. crypto. Because I think a lot of people have heard of someone or seen on the news or somebody who's lost like all their life investment or something. Yeah. What what would you say to someone like that? Because maybe that may be that apprehension some people may have. Yeah. And again, fear is not of God. So how do they balance? Well, you don't balance fear. You just cast out. But <laughs> how do they do? Well, how do they go into this with wisdom? I think that's, yeah, that's my question. Yeah. It's, it's a good one. And to be honest with you, every time there has been a change in anything, whether the internet was coming, whether the TV was coming, whether the radio was coming, you know, whether the um, the credit or debit cards were coming that weren't in use before. There's always this, isn't it? There's always a, a shaking that happens in the process. 
And in the midst of it, a lot of people lose money, a lot of people get scammed. Um, and I believe that's what has been happening. The key is obviously not to rush and do something that you're uneducated about, something that you are uninformed about. But it's really to take your time. I think the transition to, um, to cryptocurrency as a form of currency is fairly slow. But you'd want to make sure that you get yourself uh, a mentor that will teach you the right way in a very safe manner. That's what I would uh, suggest because a lot of people that are listening to this now have heard of cryptocurrency, but one may not know where to go the first step to take. Yeah. You can always just drop us a message and let me know. I'm more than willing to kind of show you what to do and teach you the basics. Um, but it's really nothing to rush into or throw all your money or borrow money to. <laughs> like go and Google and say, I need to buy any crypto now. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not what this is about. People have lost money. You know, I, I once heard a story of a guy that, that told his family, right guys, we're selling this house. So <laughs> he sold his house and said, let's move into a hotel. And he promised his wife that next week this thing will pop. <laughs> Uh, this was two years we're ago. We're going to be billionaires next yeah, year. Yeah, we're going to be billionaires. Let's put all our house savings in it. This is not how you want to do it. Really, you want to do it from <laughs> the perspective of God, from the eyes of of God, um, with the right mentorship. Yeah. No, thank you for that. I think that's that's very clear. Um, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't be put off by the bad stories. Just get the right training and you'll be fine as it is with with everything else but i think that is all for us today as like we said it is a very short series yep. but you will hear more from us uh when we start releasing the courses um but yeah. in terms of that i think we're done yeah let's look forward to what 2023 brings um a lot of teaching uh, a lot of uh, specific training super yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much, as always, for taking time out to listen. Do share this with your family and your friends, because I am sure that they will benefit from this. If you didn't think this was relevant to you, never know what someone may be looking for answers to. So do definitely make sure you share this with somebody and tune in for our next episode coming soon. I believe we're going to be talking about dreams. Yeah, so the next one will be called the dream crisis. Uh, so there is a dream crisis. I don't want to go too much into it. But yes, we'll be talking about dreams. Uh, as a lot of people are dreaming these days. Lovely. So yeah, we'll be we'll be having a lot more content coming. So guys, don't forget to follow Bright on Instagram at Bright S-I-Z. So B-R-I-G-H-T-S-I-Z to keep up to date with all the upcoming stuff we will be releasing. But that's all from us today. Have a beautiful day and we will catch you later. Thank you. God bless. Thank you.